We're out here in the range today and we are going to demonstrate the difference between a 5 yard and a 15 yard zero. Don't be a freaking dumbass and do a 5 yard zero. I'm going to demonstrate why. In case you didn't know, when you are zeroing, your red dot is actually changing your line of sight. If you get closer, your red dot is aiming a little bit lower and that's causing your handgun to rise just a hair. At 15 yards, when you're going at distance, it will actually stabilize down just a wee bit and then have your line of sight adjusted a little bit further. It'll actually stabilize things a little bit more. If you are too close, things will get bad for you in terms of zero. Now we're gonna start off with the five yard zero and see how it actually affects the trajectory. And then we'll see how it actually goes as a grouping from various unknown distance. Five yards, 10 yards, 15 yards, 20 yards, and now 25 yards. I do a lot of back and forth walking for you guys, so be grateful. Now if we're taking a look here for the five yard zero. At five yards is pretty much on point. 10 yards is gonna be massively high. 15 yards is gonna be a little bit higher. 20 yards is gonna be high, high. And 25, with a little bit of user error because the sun's glaring in my eyes, it's gonna be absolutely high. But you can see the trajectory and how much that can actually change things. And now we're gonna do some unknown distance and see what actually happens in terms of that whole entire grouping. And if we take a look here, I was just following the center line back and forth, back and forth, just to kind of open everything up a little bit. You will see that those shots are not consistent whatsoever. Now we're gonna check out the 15 yard and see how it actually goes. At this point, I'm gonna show you five, 10, 15, 20, and 25 yards, and then I'll show you the whole entire grouping afterwards. This is five yards, 10 yards, 15 yards, 20 yards, 25 yards. And if we take a closer look, the five yard gets a little bit low, 10 yard gets a little bit closer to that line. Uh, the 15 yard, I was kind of guesstimating, uh, it's gonna be roughly around that line right there too. This is not factor, this is factoring in like some user area here and there. 20 yards, it starts getting a little bit higher, 25 yards gets a little bit peaked out at that distance and as usual from here we're just going to do the unknown distance i'm just going to walk at various distances uh, not worry about where i actually set up the yardages and then uh, see how it goes as a solid group Pretty much the whole grouping was right here. I did get one flyer out there. Don't know what the hell I did. But in general, you can see that the grouping stays roughly about three or four inches from each other at various diff uh, different distances. I was just aiming at this general area. Now that we have two samples, the 15 yard, you can see everything is going to be nice and tight and predictable. However, with the five yard zero, you're going to see that it actually spreads out a lot more, especially at unknown distances. So. Be the judge of that one, figure out what your zero is. I'd say the 15 yard zero is gonna be a lot better. It's gonna be easier to calculate. It's gonna be more user friendly in terms of pointy shooting. And as we can see by the results of the five yard and 15 yard zero, anyone that zeroes at five yards, you're a dumb ass. Do not do that, okay? Do the 15 yards. You only have to do it one time. Anything prior to 15 yards is gonna be nice and stable for you and predictable. Don't be a dummy on that one, okay? And then you can train with your seven yards or 10 yards or whatever the hell you wanna do. Just do a proper zero and then you'll be okay. But all in all, as you can see, the five yard versus the 15 yard makes a huge difference in terms of your shot placement, especially with unknown distance. This is why it's very important to actually zero correctly. There's a lot of correct ways to zero and there's a lot of incorrect distances to zero too. Hopefully that's been informative for you. If you made it to the end of this video, go ahead and head on down to amphibiancustoms.com and uh, use this code right here and receive 10% off on all of your product. Other than that, like, share, comment, subscribe down below. And as always, thanks for stopping by.